What's up everyone, April Dunham here. I'm doing something a little bit different today in this video. I wanted to address one of the most common questions that I'm asked, and that's, I'm new to Power Apps, how do I get started? When you're new to any technology, it can be overwhelming trying to figure out how to even get started with it. My goal is by the end of this video, you'll know exactly the steps that you need to take to get started on your Power Apps journey. But first, here's the intro. The very first step in getting started with Power Apps before you even worry about learning the technology is getting the tools that you need. Power Apps is part of the Office 365 suite of technology. So your first step in getting started is to get an Office 365 license. If you have one through your organization already, great. If not, you'll want to go out to developer.microsoft.com and enroll in the Microsoft 365 Dev Program. What this is going to do for you is give you a free Office 365 license that as long as you're using it, it will be renewed. With this license, you get 25 user license that you can use and you can use it to your heart's content to test and dev anything out. So with this license, you'll get access to SharePoint, which is a great starting point when you're learning Power Apps, a great data repository, OneDrive, Outlook, Teams, Planner, all of those services which you'll probably need to use when you're learning Power Apps to do some integrations. You'll also get the Office 365 seeded versions of Power Apps and Power Automate. So if you go out to the Office 365 dev link, which I'll put a link to in the video notes, you'll see that it's as simple as clicking join now and there's no cost involved whatsoever. So you just fill in some of this information and you can spin up a new tenant absolutely free. I already have my dev account here and you can see everything that's included with it. So this account alone will really get you started building SharePoint based Power Apps. But if you really want to take advantage of Power Apps full capability, common data service, some of you know custom connectors, AI builder, things like that, then you'll want to get the Power Apps community plan. So that's another license, which again, I'll put the link to this in the video notes. So if you go out and get this community plan, what it will do is it can add on to your Office 365 dev subscription that you just signed up for. So it will actually go out and create a new premium environment for you within that tenant that you can test out the premium Power Apps functionality. So to get the true Power Apps experience, you'll definitely want to use this community plan. And again, 100% free for dev use to learn and build development Power Apps. And you'll see here, if I go to my Power Apps portal, I've already signed up for that Power Apps community plan. So if I click on my environment tab, you'll see that I have this new April Dunham environment, which is my premium Power Apps environment. All right, so the first big hurdle is out of the way. You have the tools that you need to get started. The next piece of this is to get a base level understanding of what Power Apps is. And where I like to point people to get a good just base level understanding is the Microsoft Learn documentation. So you see there's this get started with Power Apps module here. This will walk you through the building blocks of Power Apps, it has some exercises with built within it and a knowledge check. So it's a great starting point. There's additional modules in here for creating Canvas apps. And also, if you want to extend your Power Platform knowledge and not Power Apps alone, but Power BI or Power Automate, there's modules on Microsoft Learn for that also. The next thing I'm going to point you to is the Power Apps templates that are in there in the Power Apps portal. So if you go to the homepage of Power Apps, go to make.powerapps.com, you'll see an option down here for all templates. And there's actually one template that I really want to point out to you, and that's this Power Apps training template. This is a template that Microsoft offers that sole purpose is to teach you how to use Power Apps. Pretty clever, right? So what you can do is just go in, click on that template, click Create. And after you create that and open it up here in edit mode, you'll see you have this nice Power App that walks you through some basics of Power Apps. 
So you can click on each of these screens and you'll see that it has steps that you can click to kind of walk you through learning different elements. And if you play the app here, you can click resources and it even has links embedded. So this basic screen, for example, is walking you through how to change the fill color of a box. So you can look at the steps there on the right, click on the objects here on the left and follow the instructions to learn a lot of essential basics of Power Apps. This one template is going to show you valuable information like formulas, variables, working with the camera, publishing your apps, gallery basics, and filtering. Once you've did the Microsoft Learn documentation and walked your way through this template app, you'll have a pretty good, solid, base level understanding of Power Apps. After you've walked through this training template, I really think the next best step is to just do the thing and build something. We all have problems that we're trying to solve. So think of something that you want to build and just try building it within Power Apps. So it could be something personal like an app to track how many shoes you have. Or maybe you have a relevant business case like a time off request or timesheet. Pick something that is simple and kind of dip your toes in there and get started. And as far as the data source, stick with what you already know. If you already have a SharePoint background, go with SharePoint as a data source. If you're not comfortable with SharePoint, start off by using an Excel spreadsheet as your data source. So let the technology meet you in the middle and go with that. So take the skills that you've learned from this training template and just go in, start a new Canvas app, and start trying to solve your problem. You'll learn a lot just by diving head in and just doing the thing. From here on, you'll probably really find yourself just needing help with very specific things. Like I need a formula to do this, or I need to know how to call a flow to do the business process piece of this, really kind of specific things. That's where the community is really gonna come in handy. So insert shameless plug for my YouTube channel here. When you get to that point where you really wanna know how to do something specific within Power Apps, you can watch my videos to, that shows you how to do things like filtering galleries and search boxes and things like that. And then the other thing is the Power Users community. So if you go to powerusers.microsoft.com, you'll see that there are actually communities for each of the Power Platform products. So you can go into the Power Apps community here, and this is a great place to go and get specialized help. You can go on one of these discussion boards and ask questions, but also it's your one-stop shop to be able to get the latest news and announcements. See community app samples so you can learn by seeing what other people are building and sharing. And you can check out the video gallery because there's a ton of other people in the community besides myself, obviously Shane Young's a big one, that are constantly out there posting great Power Apps content. And you can catch all of that here in the video gallery. And you can even come here and, and post ideas because as you start your Power Apps journey, you'll probably run into something that Power Apps doesn't do natively. So if you run into that, come here to the ideas forum and share your feature request with the team and they'll review it and you never know, it might get added to the product. So that's really all I wanted to share here. I really hope that this gave you the steps that you need to take to get started building great Power Apps. I can't wait to hear what kind of Power Apps you build. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.